Hello and welcome to another episode of Berden Mourinho and today we have the FA Cup semi-final against Arsenal but since last episode that devastating game against Tottenham I played two games got an easy game uh, an easy win against Derby and a decent result here another win against Burnley I just want to show you one thing with Burnley because they are having a bad season and their manager got sacked look who is the new Burnley manager it's Mr. Sven Jaren Eriksson 70 years young, he's back in England, he's back in the Premiership. And yeah, he, he is the Burnley manager. And of course, um, it's quite some time. I mean, he, he was in Leicester, of course, and he was uh, in uh, Man City. And he had the make a job, he had the England job. And uh, I mean, in Italy, he did very well, when uh, won many titles. But yeah. So Jaron Eriksson is back in the Premiership. And today we play the FA Cup semi-final against Arsenal. And Arsenal, I mean, they are faced rivals. Look at the league table. Uh, we have the same points. It's just goal difference between us. And uh, this is the cup. But we still we still want to show them that we are ahead. And, uh, and also we have in a kind of weird situation. Because it's only going to be a few days before the Champions League game against Juve. And I kind of like, the Champions League is bigger than the FA Cup, obviously. We want to have players fresh for that game. But at the same time, like I have a few injuries, and a few players who just got back from injuries, so they are lacking match fitness. And uh, yeah, basically, a kind of tough. I mean, you can see like all these lads, 92%, 93%, 93%, and so on. Rooney just got back from an injury, like 81%, uh, and things like that. Uh, so I want to use a good team. I want to win this game, but I need players fresh fit for the Champions League game. That's why, for an example, uh, Pogba uh, is on the bench and things like that. So, yeah, we're kind of in a weird situation. We want to win and want to rest players at the same time. And I'm not quite sure if we can do both. It's going to be really tough to both uh, win this game and resting players. But, uh, I mean, Champions League definitely worth more. But I want to win this. I really want to win this. Um, so yeah. And this is uh, the Arsenal team we're up against. Um, and uh, they have a good team. Luckily for us, uh, Giroud looks like he's injured. Because he's been scoring a lot of goals for them this season. But I'm not complaining. Uh, they are a good team. I'm not taking anything for granted. It looks like they are here with the strongest team. Uh, with the best players. And yeah, this is going to be rough. But we need a good result. We need to show them, like just just that psychological thing for for the end of the league that we we can beat them, and yeah. So came on then, and we're playing at neutral ground, so I'm not quite sure where we're playing, but hopefully, hopefully we can make it feel like Old Trafford. But it's a good inception day by Godin, his Laporte, Di Maria, Wayne Rooney, for Riccardi. Card is kind of alone, but he finds uh, Di Maria. Also, look, show. Oh, a fantastic, beautiful start where Icardi puts it in the box from that really good pass from Di Maria. Really good cross. Look at this one. Yeah, Di Maria advances on the left flank and he finds Icardi in the box, and Icardi does what he do best. He puts it in the net. But yeah, Luke Shaw also has been injured. He's uh, not injured now, but he's uh, really low on match fitness. I'm hoping he can play uh, the Champions League game, but I'm not quite sure. And uh, also, uh, Blint is also injured. So basically, all my normal uh, left defenders are, are injured. That's why I'm playing with uh, with actually with uh, with Danilo as a, as a left defender. That's bad because that means both Damian and Danilo will be tired for the Champions League game. But what can you do? What can you do? Uh, yeah, we played 12 minutes here, not much going on, a few yellow cards, a goal. And he's Wayne Rooney, all the way back to Danilo, Basswer, Schneiderlin, Di Maria, for Icardi, Danilo, Icardi, and he finds Wayne Rooney. What, my Wayne Rooney, look at this, he, he, he needs to score here. Look at Shan, that chance, he's completely alone. Like three minutes meters from the goal, 
Wayne Rooney, you should have done better there. A goal there would have been fantastic for us, but uh, now we still we only have that one goal advantage and uh, so much time left to play. It can can change in in a blink of an eye. Uh, here's Darmian with a throw in, a really shitty throw in. Here's uh, Arsenal. Here's Walcott. Walcott advances. Good interception there by Seidlin. I mean, Seidlin's basically his job on the pitch is to intercept the ball and win the ball back for us and. And if you do things like that, he does his job. But um, yeah, it's Basware. Basware. And a pretty weak finisher. Um, not sure if shooting is his, uh, if it's one of his strengths. It didn't look like it. Uh, his Walcott with a corner for Arsenal. Clear by Mactarium, but Walcott gets another chance to put it in the box. Long cross, clear by the defense, but it's still Arsenal. They keep the pressure on us. It's Alexis. Dragomir, and unfortunately, yeah, I was really close saving. Uh, he touched the ball, but um, it wasn't enough to keep it out of the net. And Arsenal is back. But yeah, it was really, really close for, for the Korea saving that one. Really close, I feel. Yeah, as you can see, he touched it, but it, it wasn't enough to... Uh, to uh, get it outside of the post. Here's Mkhitaryan with a throw in. Darmian. Back to Mkhitaryan. Long, long cross all over to the other side. Here's Anilo. Intercepted by Alexis. Anilo. Snydelin. Basware. Mkhitaryan. This is just going back and forth. What the hell? I was thinking we were going to get something, and here's a lot of Arsenal players, but maybe not. Maybe we can turn it around again. Gea. Where is this highlight going? It's been going on for ages, and still not a chance for any of the teams. It's McTarion. Terrian for Busware. Busware. And that looked like an offside, so I'm not celebrating yet. Yeah, that was an offside. Really, like, I felt it from, uh, from the first second that... That definitely was going to be an offside. And um, Icardi is injured. Another injury. I've been having so many injuries lately. Like injuries all the time. And uh, yeah. That means we're going to bring in Ibrahimovic. I was hoping to keep him fit for the Champions League game. But uh, looks like we're going to give him uh, a half here. That's half time, it's been pretty good, but since we are not in the lead, we need to keep uh, the lads fired up. They need to know that we we want this victory so badly. Like It's more that we want to beat Arsenal than win the cup, I, I would say. It's definitely more like that. Have that psychological uh, advantage for, for the last part of the season, because it's so extremely close now in the top of, uh, of the league table. Going to be a card here, maybe? That's a gel card. And the clock keeps on ticking, not much going on here in the second half. And a yellow card there for, for Laporte. Yeah, not much going on at all, but maybe here's Victorian, here's Wayne Rooney. And this was a really weak pass by Wayne Rooney, which means his Arsenal, oh, huge, huge. I was going to say huge bases there for Alexis, but yeah, at least uh, he has saved. Clear by defense, but Arsenal are keeping the pressure here. And Alexis gets another chance to put it in the box. And that was a better clearance, but still Arsenal. Or maybe not, it's Di Maria, it's Ibrahimovic, but they are kind of alone, guys. Need some backup. And it's Di Maria. Almost, almost, almost. And it's a more Arsenal. I don't like this. In the first half we had a lot, but now I see a lot of Arsenal. But uh, maybe Di Maria and Schneidlin can, can turn it around. That was a real, another really shitty pass. Wayne Rooney, your passes, they, they basically, to keep it frank, they suck. The only reason you're playing is that uh, because Juan Mata is injured. Danilo. Danilo for Ibrahimovic, but... Uh, not good enough.
Alexis again. I don't like when like Alexis have the ball. Because whenever Alexis get the ball, I feel like there's going to be a dangerous opportunity for them. This has been another highlight that's basically been going on for ages. And that was a weak pass by Laporte, but a good interception then by him. Uh, keeping the pressure away from our goal. But still awesome here with Gibbs. Gabriel. I mean, we have so many long highlights in this game. They're going on for ages. But here's Ibrahimovic with a nice pass for Di Maria. Di Maria. Di Maria. And there is Snydelin. And uh, Snydelin doesn't do a Wayne Rooney because he doesn't miss a chance like that one. Because that was basically a very much a similar chance that Wayne Rooney had during the first half. But Snydelin doesn't make any mistakes. Even though he was a little bit further from the goal. But he don't miss things like that. I feel it's time for some subs here. Let's see who is tired. Or actually, who's is anybody having a really... Oh my god, Wayne Rooney. Look at that rating. Look at that rating. That's just insane. Let's bring in Herrera instead of Wayne Rooney. And then let's see uh, who else is tired. Since we already was forced to make an early injury with Ibrahimovic, just, just give it a few more minutes in case somebody gets injured. I want to have a team talk here. As soon as the game gives me a chance. So I'm going to be uh, set. Yeah, assertive. And I'm going to tell the guys. It's time to tighten up now. Time to tighten up. Here's the Maria with a free kick. Darmian, Laporta. Danilo. Di Maria. Di Maria. And it's an open. Oh my. Ibrahimovic. With an open net. Ibrahimovic missed an open net. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is even worse than... Well, I miss mean, it's a bit harder since it's in a volley, but still an open net for a player at with a, with a Ibrahimovic uh, skill level. Shouldn't be any problems. But there he repairs his mistakes, scoring his 20th goal of the season. Slatan Ibrahimovic. And yeah, looks like we are very close to reaching the final of the FA Cup. But still some more time here and uh, here's Arsenal. Good inception by Snydlin, Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic, Herrera, Danilo, Di Maria, Di Maria, Schneidlin. Schneidlin is on fire today. I mean, it's not often you see a ball winning midfielder like Schneidlin scoring two goals in one game. So, yeah, huge game for him today. Huge, huge game. It kind of looks like the first goal he scores. Of course, the cross comes a little bit more early, but still kind of similar. So, let's take a look here for the last. So, what do we want to do? I would like to rest the Mkhitaryan because he might be forced to play the next game also. Um, don't do it like this. Not his best position, but... And we are getting closer to it, extra time. It's going to be one minute extra time. So I kind of feel like we are safe now. This has been a really good game for us. I mean, look at those highlights. We probably should have scored two more goals. We definitely, both Wayne Rooney and Ibrahimovic should have scored one more. Oh, it's off the post. It's off the post. But yeah, both Wayne Rooney and Ibrahimovic should have scored uh, another goal, I feel like. But we have demolished Arsenal. And Arsenal are our big, fierce rivals this season. They are topping the league. And we have demolished them. And even though this is the FA Cup, it won't affect the league. I hope this will give our guys a big self-esteem boost. And it's going to be giving Arsenal some doubts, I'm hoping. Maybe this could do something for their morale. And maybe that could uh, come back and give us an advantage in the league. I'm really happy with this result. Even though I don't prioritize the FA Cup that high. Still really good result for us. Uh, really, really, really good result, and uh, hopefully we can take that with us for for the Champions League game. And 
yeah, basically that. And that's it for this episode. Make sure you don't miss next next episode because it's going to be Champions League. Yeah, don't miss it, basically. As always, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you during the next episode.